Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. In this video, we are going to solve this problem, which says that a force F uh, minus 40 K pounds acts at the end of the pipe. Determine the magnitudes of the components F1 and F2, which are directed along the pipe's axis and perpendicular to it. So this F1 is parallel to the pipe axis and this F2 is perpendicular to the pipe axis. And we are required to find the magnitude of F1 and F2. If we are given uh, this F, which is the resultant of F1 and F2. So this F is minus 40 K. So to find uh, F1 magnitude, as we know that we can find F1 magnitude by using the uh, dark product method. So F1 magnitude will be equal to F dot the unit vector along the pipe axis so the unit vector along the pipe axis will be u o a so the the force f which is given and the dot product of the unit vector from o to a will give us the magnitude of f1 right so we we need to find this position vector from o to a or the unit vector from o to a so the unit vector from o to a is equal to the position vector from o to a divided by its magnitude. So we can find this position vector from that origin. So to reach that point A from O, we need to move three feet distance in the positive X, right? So I can write that the position vector along X is three I, then we need to move five feet along Y. So that will be plus five J. And then we need to move three feet distance in the negative k direction. So I will write minus three k. And we can find its magnitude. So the magnitude will be three square plus five square plus three square. We will take the squares of each component and then we will take the square root. So we can find this magnitude. This magnitude is uh, square root 43, which is 6.557. So I will write that this is six point Five five seven. Now, if we use this equation, uh, then F one magnitude is equal to F F vector. So F vector is minus forty k, and dot product with this unit vector. So this is three i plus five j minus three k and divided by its magnitude which is 6.557 so now since it's a dot product so we can only multiply this k term with k term the remaining will become zero so minus 40k into 3i will become zero and similarly with j it will become zero so this will be minus into minus plus and 40 into 3 is 120 this is 120k and k dot k so k dot k is 1 so we will be left with 120 120 divided by 6.557 so this is 120 divided by 6.557 so the f1 magnitude is 18.30 pounds so f1 magnitude is 18.30 pounds now since f is the resultant of f1 and f2 so if we find the f magnitude so f magnitude will be equal to minus 40 square and under the square root so its magnitude is 40 pounds so now as we know that by using the pythagoras theorem we can say that f square will be equal to f1 square plus f2 square and if we want to find f2 we can write that f2 square will be equal to f square minus f1 square and then we need to take the square root to find the magnitude of f2 so the f magnitude is 40 so this is 40 square minus f1 magnitude which is 18.30 square and then we need to take the square root so 40 square minus 18.30 square so this gives me 35.57 pounds pounds 
So F2 magnitude is 35.57 pounds and F1 magnitude is 18.30 pounds which was required. So this is the solution of uh, this problem from engineering statics. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to continue this uh, problem solving videos.